Hi, my name's Matt Basham and I'm Head of Artificial Intelligence and Informatics at the Rosalind Franklin Institute. How did I get here? Well, I started with my degree in physics with computer science at the University of Reading, and I then continued from that as I really enjoyed the computational physics aspect into a, a PhD in exactly that area, looking at simulation and modelling of atomic systems. Uh, I continued that into postdoc, uh, and during that time I helped some of my experimental colleagues analyse some of the surface data that they were collecting at synchrotrons. And that led me to my next job, where I stayed for 12 years at Diamond Light Source as a data acquisition scientist, then on to a data analysis scientist, and finally as a senior software scientist, specifically as a team leader for the tomography and imaging groups. In doing that, one of the big challenges we hit was image processing, and so that led me into my final sort of the career that I'm doing now, which is as the theme leader of a large team at the Rosalind Franklin Institute, looking specifically at how we can process large quantities of tomography data. What were the challenges that I had during this period of time? Actually, the, the biggest challenge that I've had all the way through my career, especially once I started hitting leadership roles, and especially now, is trying to get the, the sort of the role of RSE recognised as not being a member of IT and not being a member of scientific staff and how that works and how the members of my community and the members of my team kind of do need to be treated a little bit differently and there are some sort of different things we need to do. And explaining that to people is always a challenge. Uh, the research software engineering community has made that challenge a lot easier, uh, but it still exists. What's an essential skill that I think I've learnt um, that I need for my current role? Um, and actually, it's one that I would never have thought I would say at this point out of all the computational languages and things that I've learned. But actually, project management is really useful. I learned um, sort of official project management, I guess, when I became a team leader at Diamond and I started using some of those skills to sort of manage small groups. But what I realized at that point was that actually those would have been really useful skills to me just to manage my own projects earlier on when I was working. Um, ideas such as sort of risk management, uh, looking at opportunities that could arise and sort of trying to um, increase the chance of those happening, how are, who the stakeholders are, how to engage properly with people, all of those skills are super useful for me now, but actually were useful all the way through my career. So uh, I'd say project management is the, the big essential skill that I've got. Uh, thank you for your time.